Hello everybody, Youth Moves Gaming here. The reason I look like a dead cow is simply this, I'm sick. Just got home. And the news that I knew for about two weeks, and I'm sure most of you knew it as well, Daniel Suarez to Gaunt Brothers Racing. Honestly, this is a disgrace. This is the biggest problem with our sport. You got these drivers that should have never made it past the Xfinity Series. Get chance after chance after chance. Because they have big money backing. What has Suarez done besides luck out because of Cole Witt? In his career. Three truck wins? Sorry, two truck wins? Like, dude, seriously? You took Parker Kligaman's ride, a guy that's actually worlds better than you. Then again, most of everybody in NASCAR is, with the exception of Joe Graff Jr. And no, I'm not putting Angela Ruck in there because to me, she is a, she's not a race car driver. Same thing as Natalie Decker. They're not race car drivers. <clears throat> They're big money backing and have appeal. That's what it is. But at what point does appeal and big money leave performance? This is a guy who sucked at Gibbs. Sucked at Gibbs. Sucked at Stuart Haas. Literally caused multiple incidents at the Roble to benefit Almirola. <clears throat> Gets fired. Well deserved. Everybody freaks out. Oh, this isn't right. Maybe it's because you guys share the same skin color. Did you ever think about that? I get that we all want to have diversity. Hell, <clears throat> I want a black driver to succeed in NASCAR. I want a Mexican driver to succeed in NASCAR. I want a woman driver to succeed in NASCAR. But when are we going to stop pushing narratives and actually developing talent? <clears throat> there are tons of people in NASCAR Europe that would love Suarez's chances. Never got them. There are a ton of people that would love the chances he got. Truck regulars, Xfinity regulars, they won't get it <clears throat> because they don't got money. Like, this is ridiculous. He shouldn't have a ride anywhere. Unless it's like for Ryan Sieg, someone like that, in the Xfinity series. This man should not be a cup driver. Quinn Houff is better than him. How's Quinn Houff and Reed Sorensen better than you? Like, really? And transitioning from one no-talent driver to another. Well, if we can call her that. <clears throat> Angela Ruck is in the double zero truck? Really? It's just more and more money being wasted away. Give that to a good female driver like Tony Benninger. Give her that! But no! You guys want to force freaking Deegan Ruck and freaking what's-her-face down our throat? Deegan Ruck and Decker. No, I don't want it shoved down my throat. I want the best racers in the best seats. I don't care what color, what nationality that is. We need the best drivers in our sport. Period. No matter what race, no matter what ethnicity, we need the best drivers in our sport. And the same thing that I was touching on the Suarez conversation... This is a money grab. This is someone saying, oh, a woman who actually races midgets. Let's give her a sponsorship, put her in race winning equipment, and watch her go 11 laps down. <clears throat> Why are these companies investing in the wrong types of people? It's simple. Because they're going for what will they get people talking. You hire a Spanish driver, people are going to talk about it. You hire a woman, people are going to talk about it. You hire Joe Schmo from Kentucky, people aren't going to talk about it as much. And I've got no problem with that dynamic. We just need to develop the talent properly, and we got to all figure out from sponsor corporations, to team owners, to fans, what is our direction? What is it? We have none. That's what it appears like to me. <clears throat> 